This is week 14 of the Dictionary Challenge. It is my attempt to read the entire Canadian Oxford Dictionary in under a year. So, here are some words from this week. Catgut. A material made from the twisted intestines of a cow, sheep, horse, or other animal, and used formerly to make the strings of musical instruments, rackets, etc. So, why is it called cat gut? St. Catherine of Alexandria, early Christian martyr, possibly legendary, just possibly. However, according to tradition, she opposed the persecution of Christians, debated with 50 scholars, sent to undermine her position, refused to recant, and is said to have been tortured on a spiked wheel and beheaded when it broke. And she's only possibly legendary. Here we've got chat fallen, which is dispirited and dejected. And then there's a little note saying, you know, chap three, check that out. So I go up and I check out chap three, and that's a noun, and it's the lower jaw or half of the cheek, especially of a pig as food. So how do we get from there to where we just were? Like, I, I guess if you're the pig who's being eaten, you would be pretty dispirited or chap fallen. So here we have Charles 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But what I really want to know is why Charles III was not important enough to make it into the dictionary. Kick at the cat. I don't know, a little, a little aggressive. Castrato. A male singer castrated in boyhood so as to retain a soprano or alto voice. Charm offensive. A campaign of flattery, friendliness, and cajolement designed to achieve the support or agreement of others. Not what Donald Trump is doing. Charlatan, a person falsely claiming a special knowledge or skill. Donald Trump. Centrist, a person who holds moderate views. Not Donald Trump. Cassis belly, an act or situation provoking war. Donald Trump. Chardell House, a house or vault in which dead bodies or bones are piled. Soon to be the White House, if Donald Trump gets in. And that's a wrap on week 14. If you like what I'm doing here, give my Facebook page a like, or follow me on Twitter, and make sure to follow my blog.